Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. It's Jacob Patricia here with another video. Well, today's video will not be like my regular videos, my Serbian videos, you know, if you've been following me. Um, well, today we'll come back to the homeland, to the motherland. Well, in today's video, and before I go into today's video, can you see? Can you see? Can you see my hair? Can you see it? <laughs> if you like the hair, or if you love the hair and want this type of hair, feel free to DM me and I'll give you all the deets. And before we go into this video, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Give it a big thumbs up. And what are you waiting for? Share it to a friend. I mean, we want to see our fits, right? <laughs> and also, the important, that red button down there, that red one, subscribe, subscribe to it, okay? <laughs> it will make me smile, like I will not stop smiling at all. <laughs> I appreciate it. Before I go on to this video, if you'd like to support me, if you like my channel to grow, please don't forget to donate to my Patreon account. I'll link it in the description box below. Any amount to help my channel, $5, $2, I appreciate everything and I see each and every single one of you helping my channel grow so like today i purchased a ring like that's what i'm using you guys thanks to you guys oh my gosh you people helped me a lot and i appreciate it well to get into the video today's video i will be rating the outfits of some of the celebrities and just some of the popular people here in zambia that they wore to the lusaka july so basically the lusaka july is an event that is held every year in lusaka in the month of july but this year due to elections and everything that was ongoing so it happened this month in september so the Lusaka July is basically the Met Gala of Zambia. <laughs> yeah. So let's get right into it. This event was created by the PR Girl Media. They created it and they manage this event. So this year's theme was Heaven on Earth. So we'll go into rating the outfits now. See ya. We'll start with the international guest for this year who was Azimbizi Tunzi. If you do not know her, she was Miss Universe 2020. So this is what she wore. Um, the theme for this event, like I said, was heaven on earth. So I feel for me, this didn't quite go. Like the leopard on leopard from the hat to the jacket and everything, it's a no. The theme was heaven on earth. So I felt like she could have worn like maybe something angelic, you know. Um, if it was like jungle theme, I feel this would have gone. Like she would have been a 10 out of 10 for me. But this wasn't that theme, you know. So for me, it's a no for this one. Out of 10, I would give her a 3. We'll move to the next ones who are the hosts of this event. This is what they wore. I feel like the past couple of years, um, they've always missed it. They've never really given it their best. And I feel like for being the host, um, we expect you to be top-notch, like deliver. And as you can see, they're like big busted girls, curvy girls. And I feel like mostly it's just about their bust, trying to show their bust. I mean, if you're a big busted girl, there's nothing wrong with trying to flaunt a bit, but they could be covered a bit. They don't need to be all out and making everything that you wear be about the, you know, the boobies. You can always dress nice and they could still be covered and look good. I feel for this year with this outfit, they really uh, did it. They did justice. The other lady is wearing a dress and the other one in a blazer. I feel it's a bit better than the previous one. So for that, I'll give them a six. We move on to the third look, which is the lovely, the Grace. <laughs> she is Commander Grace, and this is what she wore to the event. I mean, she was just being the Grace. It was not the Grace. I mean, she is the Grace. So it was just her typical, the Grace look. And like, I liked it that she kind of went with the theme, at least which was like white. Yeah, so she gave it all and with her famous pose. So yeah, it was fun to see her there. I feel like she was kind of like the um comedy section to bring some you know fun to it yeah i'll read the outfit of four <laughs> the fourth look is coming from shakira saeed some of you know her because she acts in impali as one of ngoz's wives so for me shakira understood the assignment she looked beautiful from the dress the makeup the crown that she wore, everything really looked good for me she understood the assignment and she looked beautiful for me i would definitely give her a perfect our fifth look is coming from Gladys. She is a model here in Zambia. I love the look. I love the shoes. I love the dress. I love the hair. Everything was really good for me. She really followed the theme and it looked really good. So for me, I'll definitely give her a lovely eight. Next, we have here our Zambian popular singer slash rapper, Maki Tu. This is what he wore to the event. 
um for me i feel like the pants were a miss he could have just worn plain white pants that's about it and i feel like the jumper was not needed at all it, it's a no for me i feel like and he could have done way better than this um for me i would definitely rate maki too for this outfit next for the men we have the famous ben lombe for some of you that do not know, he's good at um, hair installations. So this is what he wore to the Lusaka July. I mean, for me, this is a no for me. The shoes were a miss and the makeup was too much for me. It's a miss. So I think from this outfit, I would definitely give Ben a 4 out of 10. Here we have a popular rapper here in Zambia. He goes by Bobby Ist. This is what he wore for the Lusaka July. I love the jacket, I love the pants, I love the shoes. I feel like he did justice as well for this event. And it was like effortless, but you know, putting in effort, like it was really good for me. I love it. And for me, I'll definitely give Bobby East a 10. It was a good outfit, everything was cool. Next here we have, next to Bobby East, he's also a rapper here in Zambia. He goes by Slab D. I love the outfit, I love the suit. He looks good, definitely for me, it looks great. I'll give him an eight. The next man right there, I'm not quite sure if that is another artist. He looks like um, JK, but I'm not sure if that is the one. I would definitely give him like a six. He also tried. Next here, we have Francia. She is a singer here in Zambia. I love the dress. I love the hair. It was going with the theme. It was on point. I love it. And for me, I will score Francia a lovely eight. Here we have Miss Melba. So this is what she wore to the Lusaka July. I love the outfit. I love the, um, the hairstyle, the fringe and all. For me, this looks good and I'll definitely give Melba a lovely eight. Next here we have these two lovely pretty ladies. I do not know their names, but they really look good. I love the dresses. I love everything, their heels and everything. They nailed it. I really love it. Girls, you did good. I'll definitely give them both. Oh, I feel like... The other lady with a shorter dress, I would definitely give her a 7. And the other one, I would give her a lovely 7.5. Next here, we have the lady in the jumpsuit. She is a famous Zambian singer and rapper. She goes by Bombshell Grenade. I feel like this outfit didn't really quite go even with the theme. Like, it was a jumpsuit and I don't really like the color. I feel like Bombshell, you have done really better than this outside the Lusaka July. I don't know, the jumpsuit was kind of showing something a bit more there. I don't like it. This didn't quite go with it, Bombshell. I'm sorry, this is a no. I'll give her a four. Next here, we have media personality and social media influencer Mutale Mwanza. This is what she wore to the event. I feel like she's done way better um, with other outfits, not at the Lusaka July, obviously. And this dress was fine, it was good. Um, the hair for me was okay, but I don't really like the crown she wore on top. Didn't quite go for me. Uh, but overall, this outfit was fine. I would definitely give her a six. Next, we have the lovely power couple, Nalu and Israel. I feel like these always give it their best, you know. They're saucy and Nalu is like saucy. She always does her nails, her hair is on point. I love Nalu, you know. I love both of them. They look good. They look good as a couple. They stay great. And their relationship looks quite good. I love these people and I love the outfits. So I'll give both of them tens. Next here we have a famous designer here. His name is Peter. I love the outfit. I love the like um, thing over there. And I love the shoes. And it was like effortless nice. I really like it. And I'll definitely give Peter a nine. Next here we have this man who attended the event i do not know who he is but this is what he wore i don't know this kind of gave me like billy potter vibes this is a no like and it was probably hot so no for me this is like a three or two our final look here we have ivanka bianca so she's a, a rapper here in zambia this is what she wore to the event i feel this did not even go with the theme at all she just like you know just put on a dress let me just go to this event i'll just put on this or put on the shoes and didn't put in any effort at all so for me no ivanka you didn't really try i'll give you a three for this outfit 
we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share to a friend comment down below if you like any of the outfits or what you'd rate them what you think about the event or if you've learned something about the event i'll share like it i'll see you guys in my next video bye